Hi, this is Brian Bennett at CNET.com, and today we're taking a look at the T-Mobile MyTouch Q. Now, T-Mobile certainly offers some high-end Android super phones, but what if you're on a budget and can't justify spending $200 or more on a new handset? Enter this device. Basically, the MyTouch Q offers the basic in Android computing, and it also has uh, a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, as well as a 5.1 megapixel camera with LED flash, plus it offers access to T-Mobile's 4G HSPA Plus high-speed data network. So basically you get a lot of smartphone for a low price. How low? Right now it's being offered for free with a two-year contract and after an instant rebate if you buy the phone online. The first thing you notice about the MyTouch is its 3.5 inch TFT screen. Now it's not as bright as other devices I've seen but it should serve your needs pretty well. You also have the Genius button, which is a feature that is uh, a staple on MyTouch devices. Basically, it allows for voice commands and the common uh, functions of the phone, like searching for emails and making phone calls, to be done using your voice. But what's really important about this device is that it has a slide-out QWERTY keypad. So here you see the keyboard. It's a four-row keyboard. It, unfortunately, it's not a five-row, which some of the other devices on the market have, but uh, Android devices with a full physical keypad like this are becoming very rare. Now, the MyTouch Q is not a high-octane superphone. Running the whole show is a 1 gigahertz single-core Snapdragon processor. Now, the one good thing about that is that it has a pretty good battery life so far. It has a big 1500 milliamp battery, and with a processor you know, not as powerful as a dual-core processor, it seems to offer better battery performance than other devices so far. I'm Brian Bennett, and this has been a first look of the T-Mobile MyTouch Q.